so this is my DIY trickle tower that I made. I based the design off a video I saw from the King of DIY or Waru Joey, however you know him best by, most likely King of DIY. Um, I didn't make it as well as it should have been made, but it works sufficiently. Uh, <clears throat> first tower, uh, first I'm using a Sterilite three tower drawer or three drawer tower and a Sterilite tub. I think I got both at Walmart for like 10 bucks each. Um, in the first drawer here, I have some cut to fit filter padding and everything. I've got a bunch of layers and they get changed out periodically. Um, in the next drawer here, I've got all my pot scrubbies. The lower uh, parts have them stacked neatly, but in the front there's not enough, so they're just kind of laying there. You can kind of see the trickling action. So then to my bottom drawer here, I've got bags of ceramic media, and here's the part where I've screwed up the biggest on this tower, is that I drilled holes in the bottom of the drawer. What I should have done is cut a section out of this top so the water would fill and pour out, and that way it would disturb the surface area. I need to vacuum this out. There's actually a goldfish that lives in here. Um, don't hate me for it. He's the sump fish. He was picking on Klaus, so he had to go somewhere. The girl from Love wouldn't let me put him with the piranhas, so he went in the sump. It's the only place he can go where he won't get murdered. Um, so the pump I use is an Eco, <clears throat> as an Eco Plus 396. I got it off of Amazon for like twenty dollars. <clears throat> then the uh, heater is an Aquion 200 watt, and that uh, heats everything, of course. And so I just made a DIY PVC overflow and it has a crappy weir. Again, all this stuff is very crappy. I need to, this is just my first attempt, so I kind of didn't really have that much of an idea on what I was doing, even though I had the videos for reference. Um, but it didn't used to be a weir. It used to be a U-pipe on the inside until one of the pranas ate the other one. I had three, they ate one and found a nose down inside the the overflow and the water level was much higher than it should have been because it was blocking the flow. So I ended up making a weir, so stuff like that should not happen. Um, also, I've got a aqua lifter back here to prime it whenever is necessary. Um, it's been pretty good, but when I first made it, I didn't want to prime consistently. The power went out, so I went ahead and put that on, but I actually don't run it anymore. It's been fine. I've never had a problem with it not starting back up during water changes or power outages or anything lately, so just let it do its thing. And then the return here is actually soft plumbed, as you can see the soft hose, but then I've got a coming up to a PVC pipe here with the uh, ball valve. <clears throat> the way the U-joint was before with the overflow, it wasn't allowing water to flow fast enough, so uh, I had to put that ball valve on there to adjust the return flow. But uh, with this uh, weir, it allows the water to flow uh, much more evenly, and I can actually have it on full blast. And so that's my DIY trickle tower. Uh, also, the other thing I screwed up on is I made holes too big in the, the top drawer. Uh, they work fine on the rest of them. It, it seems to be working better now that I've got all the filter pads in there. It spreads it out better, but whenever there's no padding in there, it pretty much goes to the first several holes in the circle. Um, so I would recommend, like if you watch the King DIYs video, that you test with your pump. I was just putting water in from the pitcher, and so I was putting in more water, and then my pump would pump out, and so it looked like it was working fine, but it wasn't. So definitely test it with your pump um, would be my recommendation. Um, as well as that lip in the top of the bottom drawer, instead of putting stupid holes in the bottom, I was an idiot. Um, so I'll probably redo this in the future, but I just wanted to share this with you guys.